Hey guys, it's Kelly here. Today I want to talk about a subject that I guess would be a little bit embarrassing, but I think that we all are sort of affected by it, and that is clogged pores. Um, so clogged pores are something that I kind of struggle with um, kind of all the time, but I had a really bad kind of breakout of of clogged pores uh, two weeks ago. I used a new face primer and then all of a sudden all of these bumps kind of came up on my cheeks and around my mouth and my forehead and my skin was so bumpy. I had so many clogged pores. It was insane. It was like the worst kind of clogged pore breakout that I've ever had in my life. And I had, you know, I was like, what am I going to do about this? So this video is going to um, show you the things that I did to really bring those clock pores down in about two weeks. You see really big major results in a week. You see like really, really good results after two weeks. Um, so this is a really good kind of expedited way to get rid of your clogged pores. Um, clogged pores are basically what happens when the sebum, so the oil on your face and the um, skin cells, dead skin cells on your face sort of mix up and get stuck in a pore and they harden. That's a clogged pore. And then blackheads are sort of related to clogged pores too. Most clogged pores are actually called blackheads because the tip of that hardened clog, um, when it meets oxygen, it kind of changes color and it darkens and that's what makes your pore look like there's a dark something in it and that's the blackhead. Um, that is related to clogged pores too. So if you've got blackheads, clogged pores, this video is gonna be for you. All right, so on to the tips. So the first thing when you've got clogged pores or you're prone to clogged pores is if you wear makeup, you have to get all of that stuff off of your face. At so night. I like to oil cleanse to get all my makeup off because it's the fastest way and it's the most efficient way to make sure your makeup is off of your face. So um, here's an example of an oil cleanser. This is what I'm using right now. It's a Shiseido oil cleanser. And what's great about this stuff is you just take a pump of it, you put it all over your um, dry face with all your makeup on and everything. Um, spread it all over your face, get your fingertips a little bit wet, massage it in. The water and the oil kind of react together and it just pulls all your makeup up off of your face. It just like lifts it right up. So I use this when I wear makeup, but I started using this after my kind of um, clog breakout, I guess, um, on bare skin because that sort of kind of reaction that that water and oil have kind of help lift the clogs too and kind of help loosen them up. So I started using this um, a couple of days a week on bare skin and I did notice a difference. Um, and then when I use this um, at night, um, I also use a foaming cleanser. Um, I use it at night and in the morning and this is the one that I'm using. Um, the reason that I recommend this is because it has 2% salicylic acid in it. Now, 2% salicylic acid is going to be really effective for clogged pores. Salicylic acid is actually known as a BHA chemical. So it's a chemical exfoliant that gets down inside of your pore, exfoliates inside of the pore. Therefore, it can kind of help loosen or lift um, clog, uh, clogs in your pore. And what I did is I would put it on my face and I would really concentrate on the clogs and kind of um, massage it into the area that had the clogs in it just to kind of make sure that that was really getting deep down into the pore and doing its job where I needed it to do its job. So I just took um, like an extra minute of my day to really just massage it in instead of I think sort of haphazardly usually what we do when we wash our faces we get the cleanser we go do 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 and then wash it off right. Um, so I just tried to make that concentrated effort to really kind of get it into the pores and where I needed it and just really make sure that my whole face sort of received the salicylic acid. The last product that I used that I really think kind of um, made me see results in a really quick amount of time was the use of AHA. Now AHA is just like salicylic acid which we talked about which is a BHA. AHA is also a chemical exfoliant and it's known as alpha hydroxy. Um, and alpha hydroxy is great because it's chemical exfoliant that works on the outer layer of your skin instead of deep within your skin. So kind of in combination with salicylic acid, it's kind of like the ultimate exfoliator. This one is actually just the house brand of Walgreens. It's called Studio 35 Beauty. Um, and this is a really great big tub of alpha hydroxy face cream. And it's um, 8% right here. 
8% um, is one of the lowest kind of concentrations that you can find. So if you're new to AHAs, you've never used it, but you're like, that might be the product for me, I have a lot of clogged pores, here's kind of like the word of warning. It is a very strong product. So if you're going to start with it, I would start with a solution no higher than 8%. Definitely, you know, if you're going to use it on your face, do it once a week one application once a week to start with just to make sure that you kind of start accustoming your skin to the chemical anyways so this stuff works to kind of exfoliate the top layer of your skin and honestly I use this um, at night right before I go to bed I noticed a huge difference when I woke up in the morning after I had put this on my skin looked brighter my clogs seemed like the bumps seemed to have been um, lessened they seem to have gone down a little bit um, you just, you know, sometimes when you get those clogged pores, they look really dull and sort of dark, kind of like the blackheads. So that had sort of kind of dissipated and gone away or had lessened. And um, yeah, this stuff was really, really great. So those are the kind of three ways that I addressed my clogged pores. And I really saw a huge, like a significant difference after week one. And honestly, this is the two week mark for me today. And I feel, honestly, I feel like my skin is Pretty much back to where it was before I got these clogged pores, um, which is incredible to me. Um, two weeks can feel like during the two weeks, every morning when you wake up and you look at your skin and you're like, oh my god, they're still here, or you're washing your face and you feel all the bumps and you're like, why won't these go away? It feels like forever, but honestly in the span of things, two weeks is like nothing. So if you're suffering from clogged pores, definitely incorporate some of these products into your routine. Um, and definitely remember that, yes, every day when you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, they do get better and it, it isn't really, it doesn't really take as long as it feels like it does. Um, if you really just kind of concentrate your effort on um, kind of getting the clogged pores treated. Um, yeah, so two weeks, kind of amazing to kind of get my skin back in shape. That's why I wanted to share these tips with you guys. Um, I really hope that that was informative for you. I hope you guys are having a great week. If this video was helpful to you or interesting, please remember to give it a big thumbs up with the like button. Leave me a comment in the box below, and if you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe. And I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.